Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to fix Power Wash Simulator 2 game not launching, crashing, not loading, lagging, freezing, low FPS or other issues on PC. So let's go through the methods. So the very first method is to restart your PC as well as Steam. So Steam users, just click on the arrow icon over here. Then you can see the Steam option. Right click on it and click on exit. After that, click on the Windows icon. Then uh, click on power then select restart so this will restart your steam as well as pc now after restarting check if uh, the game is launching or not if not next is to update your graphics card for that go to the windows search search for device manager now go below expand display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will update your graphics driver after updating check if you can launch the game Nvidia and AMD users go through the link that I have already provided in the description and you can easily update your graphics card from there. Next is to modify launch option. Uh, for that, uh, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now under general here, you have to type minus DX11 and then check if the game is launching or not. If not, again come back and type minus DX12 and then try to play the game and see if this resolves the problem. Next is to delete save game files and then launch the game. So for that, uh, go to file explorer. Now here you have to click on users folder and click on uh, your game, your name folder. Now here you have to search for app data. If it's not available or visible, simply click on view, then go to the show option and click on hidden items. So now you can see app data. Open it now. Open local low folder, then open future lab, and here you can see your game. You have simply uh, first either copy and save it somewhere and then delete it. But uh, you should ensure that uh, whatever the game you have played till now, it will be deleted, and you have to start your game from beginning. So after that, select it and right click on it and click on delete option. So after deleting the game, now uh, launch the game and see if it's launching or not. If not, then next solution is to allow the game through firewall. For that, go to the Windows search over here. So now search for Windows security. Then click on firewall network protection, allow an app through firewall. Change settings and here you have to search for the game if it's listed over here. If not, you have to select or uh, click on allow another app now click on browse then go to the game folder where our game has been installed select the game application add it to the list over here and after that select the game make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok now after doing this check if uh, the game is launching or not next is to verify integrity of game files for that launch team under library section select your game right click on it click on properties now click on install files and then click on verify integrity of game files so this will verify the game files after once done check if the game is available to play or not next is to run game as administrator so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and now click on browse local files this will take you to the game folder where your game has been installed now here you can see the game application right click on it click on properties now click on compatibility select run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok and then launch the game and see if you can play it if not, again come back, select disable full screen optimizations, then click on apply and OK. And after that, try to launch the game and see if this solution resolves the problem. Next is to close unnecessary background tasks. So for that, go to the Windows search, search for task manager. Now here under process tab, you have to search for those apps which are of no use and select them. Now after selecting, right click on it, click on end task. And this will completely close the app that is running in the background and after that launch the game to see if it resolves the problem next is to update windows for that go to the windows search, search for check for updates uh, this will take you to the windows update page here you have to click on check for updates and it will update if any uh, update is available and once your windows is updated check if you can play the game Next is to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality, resolution, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. We are suggested to turn off facing HDR or lower screen resolution, set texture quality to medium or low. So uh, after clicking on play button, uh, it will launch the game. Now here uh, you have to 
go to the settings now these are all general these are all general settings here you have to go to the video uh, go to the video section and here make sure screen resolution is set as low you can set it as low 1 to 80768 or uh, windowed mode make sure windowed mode is select as borderless windowed and here you should turn off vsync now anti aliasing check it here you should keep this as medium or low now model quality keep it medium or low texture quality make sure to make it medium or low and after that dynamic shadow resolution make it medium make it low or medium and after doing all these changes now you should launch the game and then check if uh, the game is working or not next solution is to install visible c++ files for that go through the link that is mentioned in the description copy and paste it in your browser now after the website opens go below from here you have to download the visual c++ files on your pc after downloading it install them now after installing restart your pc once and then log into the game and check if you can play it further if not then the final method is to reinstall power wash simulator to game for that launch team now under library section select your game right click on it click on manage and click on uninstall and finally click on uninstall option so this will completely remove the game from your system after removing restart your pc and once your pc restarts now again launch steam and reinstall power wash simulator to game once again and then check if you can play it without any kind of issues so these are few suggested solutions to fix power wash simulator to game crashing not launching not loading lagging freezing or other issues on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you